Hey, welcome to 30 Miles Out. I'm Ty and I got my buddy Ed here. Get ready for some hot saltwater inshore action. Welcome to 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Graphite Rods. Make every cast count. Ty and Teresa's kayaks are provided by Mariner's Sails, Wind and Paddle Sports. So I get to the launch at daybreak. Ed's coming down from Seguin. He's not quite here. He's tied up in oil field traffic. And uh, so I head out of the launch and start fishing immediately. So I'm cruising around Copano, daybreak, throwing top water, and wham, catch one right away. <laughs> well, lost one right away. Looks like the Spook Junior and White's gonna do the trick for today. Well, here comes Ed. He's just now getting there and just now found me. Let's see what he's got to say. Yeah, uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful morning, and uh, I was looking around for you, man. I was, I was paddling out, and I came out in the bay here, and and uh, because of the glorious sunrise, that beautiful PA was just blending in. I could barely see him, and thank God he had a loud shirt on, or I would have never picked him up. But we met up, and uh, we saw a lot of uh, a lot of gate, a lot of good bait getting tore up, and then all of a sudden, Ed's walking the dog. And what happened? Hey, I thought I was fishing for redfish, man. Uh, we were in, what, two, two and a half feet of water and uh, saw a tail and, and I threw at it and it hit. It blew me up good and lo and behold, it was a big old speckled sea trout that was full of eggs. We thought we were throwing the bank for redfish and whammo! Check it out. We were just beside ourselves. That was a nice trout. Top water, if you stay with it, pays off. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Bone white skitter walk does the trick. Killer trout. All right, Ed has opted to let her go. He says she's a breeder. It's going to have nice babies. Next 10 years with the catch of Going back in the drink. Right, let's do this. Or, or maybe. She go. Let's do it again. Right here on 30 miles out. I'm All right. So Ed's been through a lot of boats. Last time I fished with him, he was in a Jackson. Uh, he tells me he's been through a few uh, tarpons, wilderness system tarpons. Now he's on his third tarpon 16. This thing's flying. When he's at a medium pace, he's at about my Mirage Drive medium pace. He's cruising. Tell him about it. Well, they call it the Flats Bass for a reason. Uh, like Ty said, I've been through several several boats. Every boat has its strengths and weaknesses and. Uh, the opportunities that the uh, T160 affords the owner is, uh, well, it's right up my alley. And uh, I like fishing skinny, and I like to move, and I like to cover a lot of water. Uh, crazy days, I cover 20 miles. But uh, that we, uh, yeah, we, uh, we had a great morning and, uh, and uh, nice breeze all day. It never got too hot. And uh, I'll tell you, this, uh, this new seat is definitely an improvement off the old one and neat functions you can raise your backrest and you can raise 
and adjust it all your come seat up, level. It yeah. And uh, you can keep pressure under your thighs so you get a uh, good blood flow and you don't have any of that cramping in your lower back. Um, you can uh, you can see this is a ruddered version. I'm uh, currently using a, an aqua bound because the oversized head, I, uh, I find it can cover a lot more water with it. And uh, you also see the Thai Special uh, homemade anchor trolley. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's something I picked up a long time ago and uh, gosh, I think I was fishing out of a native ultimate in those days and uh hey i'm a i'm a bargain guy man if it's functional why not save a buck right amen but uh ty and i both use a stakeout pole we both uh use a lot of the same lures uh we both appreciate the skitter walks and the zero spooks but it was a heck of a time and it's always good to hang out with ty 30 miles out yeah man so after the spectacular speck action that's what the biggest specks i've seen caught back here we made the corner around rattlesnake point and started headed back into the broken marsh i saw uh i saw a nice black drum i thought and uh and some small puppy drum but they were just scattering and really we weren't we weren't after those not after dink specks either but i gotta keep the action flowing I threw into the gap to the right of that duck blind and I had a monster blow up. I wanted to see if he'd hit it again, but he never would. Darn it. There's redfish blowing up in this marsh, and what I do is I take my mirage drive out and I get out my Yak Attack parking pole. This is the eight foot model, I love it. I can just push through these flats. This is like seven, six inches deep, maybe. There's a lot of grass in there. And uh, we probably ought to have tried uh, weedless plastic, but we're having too much fun with the top water. Right and on. I think we're both addicted to that. <laughs> yeah, man. I just can't let it go. Top water, man. Whew, that's where it's at. Although there were a lot of tailing reds and drumming here, I just couldn't get them to eat. Tried to finesse them as much as I could. Let's go see if Ed's got anything. We had been throwing topwater at that bank line going all the way to the back of the marsh. I've been getting smacks here and there and I finally hung one. the sheltered shoreline over here next to this big beautiful house and uh, see if we can't find Ty a nice top water redfish about 27 28 inches long what I'm not talking about let's get it on yeah, I just had a calling to the other shore I don't know what it was man and I just had a feeling that Ty was gonna get into a big redfish uh, we were working probably two and a half foot of water and casting into about a foot and a half and and Ty found a, found a wonderful little cut with moving water and he uh, placed the bait perfectly and BAM! Man, I wish I'd have got the blow up on camera. I knew it was a big fish right away. That thing was towing around six knots if it wasn't 20. <laughs> A big, big oversized redfish.
What just happened? That's the absolute biggest fish I've ever hung in Copano Bay in Rockport, Texas. Dang it! That was a cold side of the Well, sometimes you win them and sometimes you lose them. Today was a lose them day. <laughs> But hey man, Ed managed a nice mid to high 20s speckled trout on the Broken Shell Islands of Rattlesnake Point. That was an amazing catch for back there, one of the biggest I've ever seen caught. If you ever come to Rockport, Texas in the summertime, I highly recommend Copano Bay. It's been one of my favorite bays since the moment I moved here. We'll catch you next time right here on 30 miles out. What? <laughs> See y'all next time.